I, about four months after my daughter was born, um, in 2000, so it was about March 2007, I started noticing it was hard to get up off the floor, hard getting up off the toilet, out of the bathtub, climbing steps, but I just had a baby. So I thought, well, maybe this is normal. And, you know, I just had a baby, so I was a little bit overweight. So, you know, but as time went on, I thought, well, there's people a lot heavier than me that move a lot easier. And um, it just happened to be at the same time my insurance wasn't being accepted by my PCP anymore. So I had to find a new doctor who wanted blood work and my liver um, enzymes were elevated, which they had been in the past. And it was just kind of written off as fatty liver, lose weight, you know, but it concerned him. So he said, well, I'm going to send you to a gastro doctor and I want you to explore this a little more. So I went to the gastro doctor and I just happened to mention the weakness. And he was like, hmm, I want you to see a rheumatologist so then they sent me to the rheumatologist because he was thinking like a rheumatoid arthritis type thing so they did their work up everything and said this is neurological you need to go to a neurologist so then I started seeing the neurologist and we had a long list of things um, that we were testing for and checking off and I was giving blood like every two weeks I was getting EMGs more EMGs than anybody should ever have to go through and and at the bottom of this list was Pompeii disease and at that time that was kind of like a worst case scenario because at that time there were trials but there were no treatments and so um, finally my neurologist locally said I can't I don't know I can't do anything else with you I'm gonna send you to UVA so then I started traveling to UVA and seeing all the doctors there. They eventually did a muscle biopsy and they said, we're pretty sure this is what you have. We're going to send you to Duke, um, to Dr. Kishnani. She's the gold standard. She'll, if this is what it is, she'll be the one to see. So I started going to Duke where they then, then did a skin biopsy and were able to confirm the mutations that confirmed Pompeii disease. It was about an 18-month process. At that time, the clinical trial was closed to participants, so I was not able to get in. I was able to start on treatment in December of 2009. So about a year after diagnosis, I was able to start in on the trial, and I've been receiving ERT since. Absolutely. Um, when I was first diagnosed, um, at that time I was given a five-year prognosis that I would be wheelchair bound and on a ventilator, and I'm neither. My pulmonary functions are low for a normal person, but they are good for Pompeii standards. I don't use anything, any kind of BiPAP or CPAP, so my pulmonary functions are good. And um, I do use a cane to walk, and I do have a motorized scooter for longer distances, but I'm still pretty ambulatory.